What a Debbie Downer. Welcome, fans and collectors. This is Marvel and DC 379 with another review, and today we'll be looking at Star Wars The 30th Anniversary Collection Maris Brood from the Force Unleashed games. And I actually do have both games for my Xbox 360. Now, let's take a look at the packaging. There's the Star Wars logo right there in the corner. Her name Maris Brood and that absolutely fantastic fierce artwork of the character. 30th Anniversary 1977 to 2007 and it's just funny how last year was just the 40th anniversary of Star Wars, which is one of my favorite franchises of all time. It's in my top five. So here's the figure in packaging. And there's a, an exclusive cheat code inside for the Star Wars Force Unleashed game, the first one. I already used cheat codes for my first game, but I can share this cheat code with you for this review if you want. Here's the Force Unleashed logo right there, ages 4 and up, there's nothing at the sides. So here's the bio, it says, Maris Brood. Maris Brood is a Padawan who escaped Order 66 and has been in hiding with Jedi Master Shakti on Felucia. When she is violently separated from her master, her impetuous and angry nature leaves her vulnerable to the influence of the dark side. And here's the other available figures in this wave. Hasbro, copyright, blah blah blah. Okay, so that's about it for packaging. Now let's get into the figure. And here is Maris Brood out of packaging. Now before I begin, here is the cheat code I promised. Holocron. Got it? Holocron. Okay. And here's a little pamphlet of other figures in this line. Like, there's Anakin, there's a droid, a Hawkbat clone, some clone troopers, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and this really neat looking Obi-Wan Starfighter. These Mighty Mugs, and a comic pack. Okay, so let's get into the figure. I've always found Maris Brood to be a very interesting and underrated character and I really did like her appearance in the Force Unleashed game and she did serve as a minor antagonist and I really enjoyed her boss fight. Now this is accurate to the character model I mean it's mostly a simple design a lot of brown bits of red like around her belt there's little sil silver right there her straps and there's more lighter brown straps around her boots which is really good detail so there's not a lot of detail with this figure but that's accurate and I don't mind that at all now let's take a look at the head sculpt to be honest it's very hit and miss I mean I really like the hair that's the best part of the head sculpt and the little horns because she is a Zabrik. However, her face, I mean, one of her, one of her eyes looks a little off-center and her lips are, well, not colored in all the way because she did have colored lips for her character model. Even the artwork of her package if you saw the beginning of the video. But, oh well, there's nothing you can do. Onto articulation, she does have a ball jointed head. However, the hair around her neck does kind of restrict it a little, which is a little unfortunate. She has hinge shoulders, hinge elbow, there's a swivel forearm, which is really good. Nothing for the waist, unfortunately. There's hinged hips. There's nothing for the knees and hinged ankles. So the articulation, well, is pretty much hit and miss as well. For accessories, she does come with 
this stand that says their name, Maris Brood, and it says Star Wars Expanded Universe. I love these stands. They're like little plaques, and you can see there's a peg. She has holes under her feet, so it's very easy for her to peg in, just like the star of the video. And she does come with these awesome lightsaber tonfas. I really like the color and detail. Like, there's so much detail on such little hilts, and I especially love the handle. And the blade, it's like a reddish pink. It's not like a full on red. That doesn't bother me too much, but if it does, I do recommend painting them with a clear red paint. But I don't, I don't mind them. I mean, they still look awesome. And. With lightsaber tonfas, you can have much more unique poses than uh, traditional lightsabers, like this. Okay, so that's about it. Let's get into size comparisons. So here is Maris Brood with Ayla Sakura and Ahsoka Tano. And she does appear short, I mean, she does look shorter than Ayla, and around the same height as Ahsoka, but it's mostly because how her legs are sculpted, and I can't squeeze them in together to make them look a lot more straight. But if I could, she may be the same height as Ayla Sakura. So, my overall thoughts... If I have to be completely honest, this figure has many flaws, mostly regarding articulation. I mean, the head sculpt is very decent, or just the body sculpt in general. And the lightsaber blades, they look a lot more pink, or reddish pink at least, rather than red. But I feel like that's more of a personal nitpick, if I had to be honest. But despite all of that, I still like this figure, and there's a lot of good things about it. Like, the upper body articulation is still decent, and the sculpt is nicely done. Almost feel like a tiny statue. And Maris Brood is one of my favorite Star Wars characters, and it's too bad that she doesn't have much of an appearance outside of the Force Unleashed game, and she doesn't have a lot of merchandise outside of this figure. So if you are a big Maris Brood fan like I am, I still do recommend her despite her flaws, but it's ultimately up to you. Now, this has been it everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So until then, may the force be with you.